If you love vintage, you'll love this project that combines fun fibers with friendly plastic to complete this vintage chic pendant. So to begin the project, what you want to do is you want to gather a few bits and pieces of friendly plastic like you see I have over here maybe from uh, another project or they can be um, fresh pieces as well. And I have a pair of my tonic scissors. You can see that I've cut strips of plastic and I've laid them together um, in rows and all you're going to do is just take your scissors and cut off little strips of plastic. You don't need to be too concerned whether these strips are straight or not because for this uh, technique that we're going to be using it really doesn't matter. You're just going to lay them in a row like this. And we've done this technique before. This is the marble technique. And I'm going to heat with my heat gun. So I've heated my plastic until it's good and soft and you can tell that it's ready to go by pressing in with your finger just a little bit. If it leaves a little imprint of your fingerprint it's ready to go. And I want to show you too that sometimes when you melt strips together you get little blank spaces. You can see right here. Okay. We can fix that just by dabbing it real gently with your finger tip and just closing those but really it isn't going to matter. Now I'm going to use my marbling tool and I've got a little bit of petroleum jelly that I'm going to put on the ends just so that I know it won't stick and I'm going to drag through the plastic. If you don't have a marbling tool that's okay Oops, my plastic sliding there. Because you can use a straight pin and you could do the same thing with a straight pin. So we've created a chevron pattern with our marbling comb and I'm just pressing that back together. And you're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of heat to the top of this as well and that's going to seal all of these little pieces together. All right, now after you have it marbled, you again want to go over it and make sure that this is nice and soft. And then you're going to come back in with your circle cookie cutter. Mine is about an inch, inch and a quarter in diameter. And you're just going to press that in there. Now if it refuses to lift up without grabbing plastic with it, leave it in there until it cools. Right now that it's cool, just simply pop it out. If you need to, you might have to cut it out with a little bit of scissors. And so this is the piece that we want. And from this point, if you want it to be a little bit more shiny or more dimensional, you could actually add the two-part epoxy to the top and let it uh, cure for 24 hours. You could also use diamond glaze or glossy accents and let that dry. Or you could just put a little clear coat of fingernail polish on it to make it nice and glossy. This is eyelet trim and I've cut off three inches of eyelet trim and I have a little bit of glue over here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of, it's just regular craft glue, tacky glue. And we're going to bend this around to form a circle. And you are going to overlap the edges and, and uh, hold it down there until it's flat. Okay, so just curl that around. It might take a couple minutes for the glue to kind of set. All right, you can put a book on it or hold it down with your finger, whatever you want to do there. But you're wanting to make some sort of a medallion. Next, we're going to come back to the piece that we just made, and we're going to apply some glue to the back of it, and then you're going to center this right over the pendant, right in the center. It's like that. Now all we have left to do is we need to attach the ribbon. I have a 12 inch section of just fiber cording and I'm going to knot the end here. It just helps it grab the glue a little bit better. And I'm going to drag it through the glue. You want to be very generous with the glue. And even though this glue is white, it will dry clear, so don't worry about that. And it won't show on the back, even though this now looks messy. Generally, when you cut your strip, uh, your three inch strip, you'll get three little danglies like this. And so I leave the two at the bottom and then I fold the top one down. And now you'll let this dry and this, until this glue is completely clear. Let's take a look at our finished project. <music> 